about to give it up for the worst video lighting I've had to date. I'm in a hotel in Brussels and I just wanted to talk about like how reading is a part of my life and my opinion on Goodreads. I just feel like I live my life and then I have like my personal interior life which is so emotionally guided by what I'm reading. I think I've maybe talked about it before like I feel like I never read books that I don't like and maybe that is because I don't really branch out and like just read random things that I've never heard of or like that have been recommended online. I do take recommendations when it's like a topic I'm already interested in so yeah it could be closed-minded but it kind of works for me. As you get into different authors and different types of books you kind of research like the author's inspiration, the author's background, like who they have been reading or read that inspired them. All of these things kind of are what I use to inform what I'm going to read next. I have my stack of books that I've bought on my trip and like that I've brought with me. Three of them are by Russian authors and then the fourth <laughs> is set in the USSR. Will I be interested in Russia forever? No, but it's not like it was just something that I just decided to read about all the time. It was like a slow, gradual interest that progressed. Like I read Elif Batman's The Idiot. I still waited like months and then I read Dostoevsky's The Idiot. And then when I read that, I thought I fucking love this. Like this is everything that I've wanted in a book and an author. But then I didn't read another Russian author for many, many months. Then I read a book called Russia Container that was all kind of like, Okay, I know it's loud out there. Anyways, Russia Container. Um, Russia Container. It painted a picture with anecdotes and stories from different people, pictures, poems, art. Like, honestly, I read it and I felt like I didn't really learn anything, but I grasped like the greater essence of a Russian culture that is ever changing, of course. That's kind of where that interest comes from, and that's why I have these books. But there are other things that I'm interested in, so it's also a really random decision. Like I finish a book and then I pick a new one and I'm typically reading like two books at the same time. I can't not be reading something because reading is something that I love to do. That's kind of how reading plays into my life. Like I've said like I prescribe books to myself. I'm a big, big, big rereader and when I'm at crucial parts of the year or of my life where I feel like it's appropriate to reintroduce a book that has moved me in the past in a way that I know will benefit me in the present, then I do that. Like Dostoevsky's The Adolescent. I read that book and I think maybe because I'm young, that's why it like spoke to me so much. Um, and it reminded me of Elif Batuman's The Idiot because it's like, yes, the main character is naive, but they are a teenager figuring out who they are and figuring out how to navigate life. And especially um, Arkady, like the narrator of The Adolescent, he's in a really diff difficult situation because he's kind of like um, a bastard child, I think is what it is. like. So he has this tense relationship with his father and then he has this document that he feels like is crucial to his relationship with his father and he hates him yet he wants his approval. He's trying to make his way in the world. He moves to St. Petersburg or to Moscow, one of the two. So he's like moving to a city that he hasn't lived in before, meeting a bunch of new people, experiencing death in his life for the first time, and just having like that feeling that you have when you're a teenager that you feel like you can accomplish anything and that everybody's underestimating you. But then at the same time, like the contrast of that bravery and confidence with the feeling of like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I'm pathetic and I'm worth nothing. Obviously that's informed by his family situation. But anyways, that's something that I always feel like, okay, once a year, I want to reread that at least while I'm in this transitory stage in my life and I'm still young I feel like it is just so appropriate and there's so much that I get out of it um even when I just open it up to skim pages and kind of refresh my memory on things that were important to me when I first read it so moving on to Goodreads because I feel like I've talked enough about how I choose books and like why they play such a role in my life I personally have no issue with Goodreads. 
I think it's because I don't really care about it. Like I love it because if I don't log what I'm reading, I will not remember like what books I've read in the year unless something comes up where it immediately like reminds me of the book. If somebody was just like, what's your favorite book you read this year? Like suddenly I can only remember the last three books that I've read. So I like just having a visual um, record of what I've read and I feel like the stats that they give you at the end of the year are really interesting. But I don't really like, you know, I'm not reading and then updating it, reading and then updating it. I'm not reading to reach my goal. Like it's my third year using Goodreads. The first year was really like when I was trying to get back into reading and I got back in the swing of things and I wasn't really trying to accomplish any goal. Um, then the second year I said I wanted to read 50 books. I read 49 books. I didn't really care, but it kind of bothered me that it was like an incomplete goal. So then for 2023, I said like my goal was one book because I feel like when you set a goal for yourself, it completely defeats the purpose of reading. It's like, I'm not reading to hit a quota. Like I'm reading because it's like a part of my life. Like what I'm reading has everything to do with what's going on with me and like, even if it has nothing to do with like my actual outward life, it still is important to my internal personal life. Um, and I think every book helps you grow as a person. Like you get a new perspective, no matter what book it is, you um, inhabit a new person's mind, you know? So yeah, that's the least important part of it for me. And I do love seeing like what my friends are reading um what books seem interesting that I had never heard of that people are reviewing reviews though like they don't really matter to me I don't check reviews to decide if I'm going to read something or not I know people feel like it's kind of detrimental to have like readers and authors on the same app and like the politics of Goodreads and I totally get that but I feel like when you kind of remove yourself and just use it to track what you're reading then it's like whatever you know you don't really think about those things yeah, I'm like, wow, I feel like the video is over now. <laughs>